Hi, it's Bob from HeCooksForMe.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends out there. Today we're doing a couple of our family traditional dishes uh, that aren't necessarily traditional for a normal American Thanksgiving feast. We're doing today a cauliflower au gratin. It's basically like a potato au gratin, except instead of potatoes we use cauliflower. I'd like to say it's a little bit healthier, but I'm not sure it is. It's a tradition for my family in the holidays. And then for my wife's family, we're going to also be doing a red cabbage side dish. It's almost like a sauerkraut, sour uh, flavor on the cabbage, uh, but really pretty with the red cabbage. You might be able to see the pan on the stove right now that's already cooking on that one. Uh, the funny thing is, my wife really likes the cauliflower recipe from my family, and I love the red cabbage uh, recipe from her family. So it's kind of fun that we go back and forth between the families. So here we have all of our ingredients measured out and ready. Just to give you an idea on sizes, the cauliflower you want to be into a bite-sized piece, somewhat like those. Ham is chunked pretty, pretty big. You want to be able to taste ham when you actually get it on a forkful. We do a little bit of extra cheese in our uh, recipe, so this is probably close to two cups of cheese. One and a half cups of whipping cream with our flour, salt, pepper, cayenne, minced up garlic. And our garlic ended up being really small cloves when we took it apart. So we actually use four cloves here, um, just however you like your garlic to be. And then the six tablespoons of butter. So we're actually going to cook this on an electric skillet today. You can also use a big skillet on your stove. Uh, to start, we're going to just melt our butter and then first thing we're going to do is saute the ham and the garlic together. Okay, so we've cooked our ham and garlic in that butter for about two minutes and now we're going to add the cauliflower so it can start softening up and getting all that garlic buttery goodness taste in it as well. So we'll stir that in and now we'll just cook this, stir it every once in a while until the cauliflower is actually tender but still would have a crisp to it. Our cauliflower now is cooked for maybe 10 minutes or so. It's getting to be pretty tender. You can test the tenderness with a knife and see that the knife's going right into these on the, the head of the cauliflowers. So I think we are ready to go to our next step. And our next step is to take our whipping cream and our flour. We're going to actually combine them. And then just use a whisk to, to blend them up together really good and get them mixed together. Once those are mixed together good, we're just going to pour it in over the top of this and cook it for one more minute. Okay, now that that cream and everything's going, I'm going to also add the salt, pepper, and cayenne and do a little stir from that one. Just to make sure all those flavors get in with everything. And then we're going to pull this right off the heat and put it into a pan or a baking dish. So we just put our shredded Swiss cheese over the top of that cauliflower and this is going to go into the broiler for two, three, four minutes uh, just until it's bubbly and brown. So after the broiler you can see it gets a little bit of the brown spots in it, it's all melted evenly over it and this is just going to be cheesy goodness. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and consider hitting that red subscribe button. It really helps if you can share my videos with friends and family that might be interested or watch some of the other videos on my channel. I hope this dish or one of my other featured dishes finds its way into your kitchen soon.